Feel like John Wick with a stitch. By the trap phone, just a green light. Hitch. All that talking make the chopper give you lip. Feel the twin one. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Ira, and today I will be showing how to make a lace tint DIY spray, like tailored crown. She has one, and we're gonna be doing that today. Okay, so the color I'll be using today is dark brown, the red dye. And if you could find a tan one, you can use that one. I feel like it's best because you could make the tan one darker because it has more of a yellow tint. This one is like purple, like not a purple tint, but I don't know, but I'm using salt and this is the one that I made before. I'm just showing you. I just put it in a random bottle because I didn't have a spray bottle. So I just used that one. And this is the wig that I had used, the lace tint spray that I made on this wig. I'm showing you and this is the inside of my wig. So a, hey, if you want to buy a wig from me, like, yeah, that's how it looks. Machine made. Okay. Gorgeous. And look at that. The knots are bleached. What great. The tensing. Y'all can't tell me nothing. That's a head right there. Scalp. Okay. It looks amazing. But that's the one I'll be tinting, tinting today. And the dark color you see on it is the makeup. It like, I didn't need to tint it. I was just doing it for demonstration to show you how to do it. Cause it obviously matches my color showing you that because I'll be making it darker first you'll need some water most people when they do dye their um, closures or whatever like frontal before they would use hot water and then put the Ritz Rit dye in it you don't have to do that you could do just use normal water because that's why we're using the salt because the salt makes it stick but this is how it is and it's pigmented like really pigmented so start really little you have to shake it and it says it on, on the bottle I'll show you the directions see shake well before using and it says like the hot water thing but you don't have to it still sticks that's why we're using salt or vinegar you could use that but i'll be using salt okay so i'm pretty much taking things off the top like taking some off the top because it's pigmented and I'm putting it in the water. That's not enough, so you pour a little bit more, a little bit. You couldn't even see, but like, you'll see when I'm a little bit, okay? I actually took too much. Cause if you're lighter than me, you can actually use this dark brown color, but do not use as much. If you do, just put more water into the mixture and you're good. Then I'm putting some salt, cause the salt helps it, um, stick better and it also says that on the bottle too if you read it salt or vinegar but i use salt yeah mix it together because you need to mix it like you can't be filling the salt in the the front of and then i took a paper i don't know what the hell i was doing okay like that wasn't helping me and then you will see me put it on my skin while it's wet. Like, what was I doing? I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, that, like, that was so stupid, but okay, I don't know. I don't know what that was. Yeah, and then I'm putting more don't know why I didn't have to. If you're like, I'd say my color, that's good enough. Honestly, you can test it out. Like, you can actually test it out. Like, put it in the spray bottle, spray it on the closure or frontal, and test it out. Like, like let it air dry or blow dry it. Blow dry it is faster, so do that. And if you needed a little bit more dye, you put it in the spray bottle. That's the one I made before I was showing you. 
And I just took the spray bottle and I poured the mixture into the spray bottle. I was low key scared. Like I thought it was gonna spill everywhere, but I'm a pro, I guess. Like what? That's it. Like you see, pretty much. Like it's it's actually easy, but it's easier to just buy it from somebody, obviously, because you don't have to do the testing. And it's good to have lace tint spray because when you have like a blonde hair, like if you've done blonde before, like you notice how white the lace come. Like it's white, like really white. So you can do that because when you put makeup on it, it doesn't even do it justice. Like it doesn't, like it's okay, but it's not that great. Yeah, like here, I'm just spraying it on. With the tailored crown um, lace tint that she now calls overlay, what she did pretty much, she just put it in a spray bottle, which was smart because it was like, it just makes it easier, like hella easier than dipping it in a bowl and dyeing it. Cause this is just smarter and you don't have to wash the hair cause it doesn't do it anything. It's just some fabric dye and water and some salt like that's not gonna do anything to your scalp it's not so you're fine you could just do that like blow dry like i'm doing if you want to wash it hey go ahead but your knots should be bleached before and then you do this and here i'm showing you how see how we got darker it don't match my skin but yeah, it got darker. I really did not even need to put more on, but I was showing you like you can make it darker. Like, however dark you are, you can, you can, okay? Like we about to be slaying our frontals. Like it's about to melt in our scalp. No more gray frontals. Like no more gray frontals or white frontals cause you can easily do this. It's really it and if you do want it to get lighter over time I'm pretty sure it, it will get lighter because it's like a semi dye so it'll get lighter over time and you can just do this again easy but thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe if you like this video and if you have any ideas of what other video or anything else you would like to see comment down below